Good evening. The Toronto Raptors lose 123 to 103 during uh, a March Badness period where I have watched I don't know 18 basketball games in the last 24 hours. So it's all it's all kind of a blur. The only thing I can really remember from this game though was Grady Dick's incredible poster during the Savannah Hamilton Kelly Olynyx Mom podcast. Which I, I've talked about these a lot over the year, over the months, I guess. I haven't established years yet, but over the months of, uh, I, I think the broadcast should be interrupted if like the building's on fire or if a player gets injured. But hey, sometimes you know if the Argos are are in town uh, or a player's mom, I guess is is there. It's just great material, um, you know, like just so happy for the sun is in the uh, Toronto and it's just beautiful and so thankful for, all. I, I should do that for like this show. I should just like thank, like before we start, I start doing the, the show or I don't even know if this is a show. I don't even know what this is. There's no reason to watch this, by the way. There's like four March Madness games happening right now, but I should just like thank everybody and just talk about like how great this this room is and how like, microphone. I'm so thankful for this microphone. I'm so thankful for the people that you know put me in the position and um, just you c- you couldn't have that uh, during like a pregame or halftime or the all the downtime during free throws and stuff. And it's always been my. It's happened. I, I remember Giannis did a huge dunk when um, I think ESPN was doing it. I think they were doing a coach interview. You know, the inter the interviews and the podcasts during the games. I think is this is a really important thing. You know, there aren't enough podcasts, and and you know, shouts to Sportsnet. They're a little bit more into podcasts than TSN. Sportsnet has like thirteen of the top one hundred sports podcasts in Canada. TSN only has two of them. So when Kayla Gray does her version of the podcast on the TSN during the TSN games, it's like. You kind of uh, you can see where they're coming from, but Sportsnet, um, they they uh, they dominate the podcast market. It was a it was a fun game for uh, Alvin and Matt, who Doc Naismith pointed this out. Like, do do Matt and Alvin like each other? And then I put out a little thing like Jerry and George having coffee in Se- or, or George and Elaine having coffee in Seinfeld, and it just kind of being uh, Alvin and Matt talking for the first time. There's a really great exchange between the two of them where. It was like a bad call, free throw went up, and Alvin was really excited, and he's just like, what's that? What's that? Ball don't lie? And then Matt's just like, hmm, 11 points. Um, but I guess people want to hear, it was, uh, again, this was, I don't know, like a game where <laughs> you have like, um, let's go to the beach. Let's take a break. Go, we can go back later. Um, but yeah, you have a game where there's no Raptors starters and you have Oklahoma City Thunder who were, I think, 100% healthy and you've got a bunch of March Madness games on. Just, you know, a better, objectively a better product than what the Raptors um, put out on the floor, but I think, you know, for a 20 point loss, it's a pretty good 20 point loss. You got Grady with almost a career high, you know, it's the, it's the tournament. It's the time of year for him. He gets, he, he had 13 points in the first quarter, but he ends the game with 21 points, four for seven from three. Um, it's funny. All the Raptors starters are in double digits and uh, it's probably the the biggest run we've seen of uh, of JFL. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not really. I'm just. I haven't really been impressed. I just don't like how he moves around. I think he's like inefficient, bad dribbler. Just seems like. Just kind of seems like the guy who like stands in the corner at the grade eight dance and just kind of looks at everybody like he wants to kill them. I don't know. It's just I. I'm not. I, I just don't really understand. Just don't really understand the role. Um, but four for ten is four for ten from the field, and zero for three from three for him is like pretty efficient um, so far. Like that's a that's a good good game for him so far. Uh, Abaji definitely had a better game. 
12 points tonight. He had he played pretty good defense against Shea. Like Shea, uh, nine for 20. Definitely not like a a dominating Shea game. 23 points. I mean, it took him 20 shots to get that. I thought he there was a few plays against Wara where he just kind of walked, you know, his version of walking to the basket, which is just like beating a guy pretty easily and then just kind of slinking his way there. He did that against War two or three times and was like, that's not good. And then Abaji was on him a bunch and that looked a lot better. I thought you kind of played Shea's probably probably as well as you could. And then, you know, you get the you get the twelve points. It's huge. One for five from three. So an incredible shooting night for him from three. I can't remember the last time he went one for five. So that's a that's a good development there. You, you know, point Bruce Brown. He gets you uh, ten points, five assists, and I guess like the the funniest storyline or one of the big storylines. You know, Garrett Temple. I think he's changed his number three times. It's 41, 14, number seventeen now. He comes in, strips Shea on one play, hits two threes. They look really crisp. Um, definitely looks better than some of the players that the Raptors have been playing this year. Uh, Speaking of uh, Jalen McDaniels, he doesn't score in this game. I didn't really, didn't really notice him that much. Ramsey, couple nice, couple nice flashes. Kind of want to see it more consistently, but I, I can at least kind of see the vision of of what he could potentially um, be. And What's Purdue? What's is Zach Eady winning right now? What's happening? I love when there's just like there's four games and they're all at commercials at the same time. There's been a lot of there's been a lot of foul calls, March Madness. Refs have been uh, yeah. There's like four games on right now and they're all in commercial. So, <sighs> what is the chat saying? Garrett should inherit all of McDaniel's minutes as trash clips. I mean, I kind of want to go back to the bar. Yeah, we're back in the bar now. So we were here a, lot, a couple of nights ago. Um, different crowd tonight, I think. Definitely more, feels like a bit of a younger crowd. We've got more of a, a white t-shirt, um, black, a lot of black and white. There was a lot of uh, yellow and pink last time. So we've got a lot of, got a lot of black and white, uh, more mono color, monochrome color. I guess it's the weekend. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but... Uh, yeah, some some fun some fun live music happening here in the uh, Raptor Moments post game show. Hopefully, you can't hear it in the audios, whatever. Um, there's a bunch more March Madness games happening after as well. anybody anybody watch those? It's kind of kind of funny. I've I've been using like Reed Shepard as the uh, example of like tanking this year because he. He was like around the seventh. He was on like around number seven on most people's boards. He had that one game against Mississippi, shot up to like number four. I think he may have played the worst game so far of anybody in the tournament in the uh, very famous Kentucky collapse. Um, so that was kind of funny. I've been, I've been using him as a name of like, oh, you know, this this is why you uh, why it's not a bad idea when you're in this position to actually tank because you go get and read Shepard and then you turn on the game and it's just like wow I think he had like three points a few turnovers just a, just a brutal game really rough a uh, couple of days here for the SEC who kind of wants to ruin college basketball so that's been kind of fun to watch uh, trash clips ED has 23 2 and 14 I always get frustrated when I watch that ED it's like he doesn't realize he's 7 4 a lot of the time but I guess in college you can, and that's why, like, you look at Zach Eady, you're like, wow, player, two time all big Burger King, whatever the fuck it is, like, Smoothie King player of the conference 85 times or whatever, um, seven foot four. And then you look at most people's draft boards, and he's usually around like 35 to 42. And you're like, wow, this doesn't make any sense. He's Victor's height. He just, he, I don't know if he knows he's tall. Like that's, that's kind of the thing. I think if he played to his size, like that's why I would take a gamble on him. Cause if he played to his size, he's easily a lottery pick, but, um, he's just, even against some of these college guys, like it just, it kind of feels like, I know he's got a lot of points right now, but I'm just in general, it kind of looked like you could just go there and like punch him. And I think somebody tried to do that earlier. 
in this game, if I remember correctly. I, I, I've, I've got like 85 tabs open right now. I'm actually watching the... I'm watching Charleston, Alabama right now. I'm also watching Grambling, Purdue. And I'm also watching the Duke game. I thought I was, but I'm not. Uh, so yeah, that's where... Vegan Grass, 80 over Pirtle. It's an interesting. It's an interesting. They both... They both kind of have that like energy of like if I punched them in the face, I don't know if they would react or care. You know what I mean? They both kind of have that like demeanor about them where it's just like, do you know how massive you are? But that's a that's interesting. Interesting debate. The boilermakers. Always reminds me of Dumb and Dumber. A couple of boilermakers for me and my friends. Uh, wow, this is good banter here. Uh, Mafia will reunite, reunite. Even when we play good, we still suck. Uh, okay, and there's no starters. I gotta stop. About three years. <laughs> so much time. It's pretty long. I gotta stop doing this show, man. What am I doing? Um. Sportsnet announced today that the Raptors show is moving to one hour. So in response to that, this show will be back to th back to three and a half hours just to make up, just to make up for the the time everybody's going to lose. Going to increase, going to try to make this back into a three and a half hour live stream. Maybe we'll pick some people out in the crowd. If it's a different, I don't know, it's a different crowd. They might have to go bar hopping and find some people to psychoanalyze, but. Uh, yeah, did you guys? I I thought the podcast was was really funny. Like I've been waiting for something like that to happen. Uh, it hadn't happened yet in a Raptors highlight. It happened. Giannis did it once. I think it was on like TNT. It was just a huge dunk, and they were doing like a courtside podcast. And it hadn't happened yet in a Raptor moment. In a Raptor moment, so that definitely that definitely could be a video. I've always fast. I've always I've always like wanted or been waiting for that to happen. And it, it just like it, it could be a really good video. The the Raptors social team originally just put out an image and I think they didn't want to put the video out because it's like this really great poster and, and it's just two people just talking about like how thankful they are like f f for the gifts of, of their life. Like just a beautiful moment, um, except it's like a basketball game. So that was probably... <laughs> it was probably the highlight of the game. I got, I got some couple. I got, a, I got, a, I wrote a couple things down. Um, was snowing in Toronto, by the way. Sorry, Toronto. I know you can't. You're not supposed to say the second T. So, I know it was snowing. It was snowing in Toronto. Tro tro it was snowing in Toronto. And um, how do you play basketball outside? In like, what's I guess this is just more of an inside basketball culture. People like the the hardwood floors. Uh, not a no. Would not. It doesn't seem like a great city for pavement. Um, Matt Devlin. My new favorite Matt Devlin thing is he always says years of age. He's twenty four years of age. He's twelve years of age. He's sixty two years of age. It's never just like old. It's years of age. So. Write that one down. Also, Devlin with the home grum. I really like that. Chet home grum. I think he started to... He added an N in there. Like, as the game went on, the, he hit the, the the end at the end, like, a little bit harder. It kind of became, like, Chet home grum. But at the beginning, first quarter, it was home grum. Like, home grum. So that's, that's fun. Shea just... Yeah, Shea cooking... Just absolutely cooking. Jordan Wara, I don't know. Like He's so crafty on offense. It's almost like on defense, he outcrafts. Like he, he creatively finds a way to get himself cooked on defense just as much. Like the offense, the creativity is there on both ends. Like offensively, he's got he's got little self creation. He can get to the basket, get his own shot, and then on defense, he always finds a way to just like how can I just really embarrassingly get absolutely roasted on the perimeter. And I mean, wow, he had that one where he was like spinning around the wrong way. He he's had a few of them. And man, when Shea saw Jordan War on the other side of the the, I don't know, 
other side of the glass? That doesn't make sense. When he saw Joe Noir, his eyes lit up and he just went, wow, and just attacked attacked the open space. War is foot, like, he just, usually, I, ideally in a perfect world, you slide with the offensive player. And it's kind of tough because Shea's obviously so deceptive, but he was beating, <laughs> he was beating Wara without doing any of his like shifty footwork or anything really that impressive. Like he was just beating Wara and Shea doesn't usually beat guys like that. So that's how poor, that's how bad of a defender Jordan Wara. Like I think, I don't know, put him in the media game and see if he can defend like Josh Lewinberg, who I heard eight in the media game, absolutely eight in the media game. This is what I've been hearing. I didn't, I didn't get an invite, but I heard that Josh Lewinberg went into that game and just like ruthless, like to the point where it was disrespectful. And I got to, I got to even credit for that. I didn't, I didn't know that Lewinberg had that, uh, not only in his game and his personality, like he, they had to like really ask him to, like they had to pull him aside, and be like Josh, like to, to media game, you know, it's not like we're just here taking, you know, taking a few videos, taking a few photos, we're networking, we're having fun. Pat Delaney, who Will used to call John Delaney, is you know the coach. And it's just, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a good time. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to do tomahawk jams. You don't have to trash talk people to the point where they're crying in the annals of Scotia Bank Arena. Like, you get, just, you know, calm down a little bit. We understand you dropped, he dropped a 40 burger, by the way, Josh Lewenberg at the media game. I don't know if people know this, but um, yeah, pretty pretty impressive just like Garrett Temple stripping Shea and then going down to the other end um and uh yeah Osha Osha a couple of good like cross court passes thought it was probably his best game as a Raptor when you factor in that he didn't let Shea have like a you know a wild game where he took 20 shots, but only got 23 points. Like, you know, he's coming back to kind of his alma mater. Not really, but I got college basketball on my mind to his, like, where he grew up. So he probably wanted to show out. And I thought Oshai kind of stayed with him really nicely and uh, slowed him down at least to the point where he was not, like, you know, 23 for him is not like a cookout. I think he averages, like, 33. So yeah, I gotta give uh, gotta give Abaji some credit for that. Kelly Olynyk eating not a lot of rim protection for the Thunder, which I don't. It's like you know, I obviously we talked about this a million times, but like this is my mo second most hated team in the NBA after the Grizzlies, you know, Sonics Grizzlies. Uh, it's so obvious what this team's weakness is, and then in the deadline they go get Gordon Hayward. Okay. Uh, have fun with that. You really like. You really think you can do that to Seattle, the way you did it, and not be cursed forever? Like you really? How was that? How was the Kevin Durant, James Harden, Russell Westbrook trio back when the NBA was kind of at its weakest? Really? How did that go for you? Uh, Shea Cooks, JFL, Darko calls a timeout. Again, JFL. Just gotta stand up straight. Gotta be not, not do. He's kind of. I feel like he just does like a Malachi impression. Um, I'm just. I'm watching all these college guys, and I'm like, I'm fucking done with some. Of, I'm fucking done with some of these Raptors, man. Like, you watch these. I know it's college. Like, Drew Timmy's never gonna be in the NBA, or Zach Eady's like the college player of the year, and he's the 37th pick. I understand it's college, but like, you know, just just in terms of a of a product, there's there's a few Raptors. Uh, on this team that you're telling you're telling me that uh you know uh northwestern these guys from northwestern or decane they can't come in they can't come in and do something Jalen mcdaniels 
Uh, Mafia will renate. Devlin is so annoying. Why? Got to expand on that. I'm not saying I don't agree with you, but can you expand on that? I have mixed feelings because, like, when I was really depressed in 2021 and I, and I really got into the Raptors, like, I liked Devlin's energy because I was, like, mental health crisis. Tune in. Devlin picks me up. But after, like, three years of therapy, now I'm just like, Devlin, can you be a little bit more real with us? Can you kind of come back down to earth with us for a second here a little bit? <sighs> Trash clips. This gra- That sounded really douchey. But I, I don't know. I'm not. Maybe maybe I'm in a bad mood. Um, I think I think it's like you watch all these exciting college games, and then I just feel like I guess I'm not forced to do this show. But I mean, there's nothing really happening right now. Alabama's up 20 on Charleston. Purdue's up like 20. Grambling. Zach Eady's looking fucking happy. And the other games that I pay a lot of money for the streams are are uh, glitching out, and I'm pissed because I play I pay a ton of money to to get all these these streams, and it's telling me I can't watch four at the same time. So maybe I need to pay more money. But I don't think any of the games are are crazy right now. There are some other games later though. But yeah, you just you just watch all these, and then you watch. Jalen McDaniels, Javon Freeman, Liberty. I mean, if the Thunder didn't win this game, you know, kind of made made a whole sink about the Magic barely beating the Raptors. I think I expect a Kings level beatdown from all these teams, and I know the Thunder won by twenty, but it, this was a kind of a tight game. Raptors are without any of their starters, and like, yeah, it's it just. Oklahoma City going up against big teams in the West. I don't think they really did anything to. I mean, what is what's what is Gordon Hayward like outside of being probably the worst rapper in the NBA? Like, what is he going to bring to this dish? Like, what is what's his ingredient? I don't I don't really understand it, and that's kind of what I'm looking for with these games like the Raptors especially with none of their starters like it's it's difficult already to us to do. <laughs> could you imagine imagine having to do a post game show about this forced by no one no one's forcing me to do this it's pretty much just like I've already done them already I've already done all the games this year I might as well continue to do them but I mean next year I don't know man I gotta reassess in the offseason what I'm what I'm doing with content and um because yeah you're talking about a team that's tanking and then has zero we went from having 60 percent. we went from having like 40 percent of the starters or from yeah from 60 percent to 40 to zero and uh it's kind of it's kind of difficult because a lot of times when you have games like this like the daniel latoru game and you've got just a bunch of guys getting like 21 minutes. It's just it's just not really realistic. It almost reminds me of like per 36 stats. It's like, oh, well, he gets 50 blocks per 36. It's like, well, that's fucking great in a, in a perfect world. Um, would you guys, anybody in the chat watch uh, watch any of the March Madness games? I've been. Uh, I like the one. I like the one game elimination. Enough with the seven game, seven game series, single game elimination. Go home, see you later. Go become a dentist. Don't ever hear from you again. Jalen McDaniels lose one game. Go become like a receptionist somewhere, like a pet pet supply shop. I don't ever want to see you again. Um, trash clips. Mafia will reunite. Got to remember that he's an MLSE employee and probably discouraged from saying anything negative about the team talking about Devlin I do wonder about that like I think I think the shows like if you're on Sportsnet I feel like I kind of tried to ask Will and Alex this when they came on here but like obviously there's no like you know Ed Rogers or Ted Rogers or Ben Rogers or Ben Rogers whoever like i know they're not in the studio or like 
telling them what to say. But I think a different... But Devlin's... In, yeah, you're right, because Devlin's on both. Devlin's like... He's directly with... So I do wonder if there are different rules for like... Because if, if you have a podcast on Sportsnet, you probably have more... Like, is Savannah Hamilton allowed to just come on to the mic and just be like, wow, this Raptors team really stinks. Like, would she get, like, is she allowed to? Like, yeah, I I don't know. That's actually a really good, like, I'm actually kind of, I do think about that stuff quite a bit. And I don't know if there's ever a way to find out what the real answer is to that. Because obviously, the Ted Rogers is just going to be like, oh, no, we, you know, we're not like the Daily Wire. We support are people to speak freely but um i guess you'd have to get a bunch of answers it would be, it would be an invest it would be a bit of an investigation but i do think that is interesting like who who in the media and different because i'm trying to figure out how all this media stuff works just kind of behind the scenes i know how the a lot of the corporate stuff works from like tsn and sportsnet and and bell and rogers kind of the the corporate investor stuff i can look through that and understand it but yeah, who who's allowed to say what? That is an interesting. Vegan grass. Reddit game threads used to have a thousand comments. Now they're down to three hundred since Scotty got injured. Yeah, um, I get that too. I think at first I was like, I wasn't pissy, but I was just kind of like, damn, this is tough when you make content about a team but then the team changes or doesn't do well and then people don't watch your stuff and then you start to question like what am i doing but um i think i've just kind of not really done that for a while that was more like year one year two year, more year two actually i think i've just kind of realized what it is but yeah uh, obviously attention on the team is a lot lower without Scotty and they probably are more of like a Hornets, maybe not quite wizards, but they're probably a, even a tier. I mean, without Scotty, they're a tier lower probably. <laughs> so, um, it just goes to show how important he is. Cause with him, you know, they're like a borderline playing team, but without him, they're probably in some of these, you know, 15 game losing streak type. I mean, what are they at eight right now? So, or is it nine? I think it's nine. I think that's nine. I think that's nine games. Yeah, it's nine games. Um, they've had the longest losing streak for a while now. And obviously they have all their starters out. It's like this game, this game honestly is more of an indictment against OKC. Like I guarantee you, OKC is not happy with this win. Mark Dagno is not going to that locker and being like, this is how we want to. This is how we want to play. Bring this to the playoffs. Like if you if they played like this against a playoff team, I mean th the Raptors were like kind of in this game. It was like a nine point game in the uh, like halfway through the fourth quarter. Like that's that's not a comfortable. Lead. Like if you're if you're just looking at the lineups of these teams. If you're OKC, like if you're not up 25 and start the fourth quarter, like what are you doing? I mean, you got like, you got Raptor players like, you know, Jemias Ramsey, Garrett Temple playing like serious minutes. Like Garrett Temple hasn't played. They took, they really took Garrett Temple out of the freezer for this. Like he has not played. Um, I like I like on the Raptors show today they were they're asking Garrett Temple like how do you stay ready for these games and he's just like uh I'm like an NBA player like it's my it's my job like I lift weights I run um I'm in the meetings with the players this, this is really funny uh da, da, da. trash clips need the Grizzlies do the impossible and beat the Spurs. I thought the Grizzlies, like, what's going on with the Grizzlies, man? I thought the Grizzlies were clearly, I thought the Raptors had passed the Grizzlies. Um, Grizzlies are up three points on the Spurs. It's really Portland that I'm like, can you can you fucking win a game, Portland? Portland has been at 19 wins since I started 
checking this thing. They've won two of their last ten games, Portland. Like, you don't have injuries. You've got Dominating. You've got Scoot. You wouldn't have, like, you wouldn't trade Zion for Scoot, like, in the summer. That was the rumor. You've got Scoot. His name is Scoot, and he's on your team, and his name is Scoot. You have Dominaton. I guess Jeremy Grant's injured. You got Anthony Simons. You can't fucking win a game. It's it's uh it's brutal. They got the Clippers tonight. Um yeah, the, the, the Grizzlies, I don't, know, I don't know. They got they got some guys back too. I thought uh isn't Bain? He's not playing today. I don't know what's going on with the Grizzlies, my other least favorite team. I don't even even thinking about when them wanting them to win is is difficult. Theo one oh one four, make a documentary about the aura of the pizza bar guy. <laughs> yeah, that could be that could be a video. I'm not see that that happened like organically though. Like I wasn't I wasn't like Okay, who's this? Okay, we may have a guy here. Can you guys see my mouse? This might this could be a guy. Um, very shiny shirt. A lot of black and white in the crowd tonight. I didn't mean to rhyme that. Um, what kind of music are we playing here? Got a, maybe like a little ska going here. Um, what's this guy doing? It's very smooth. It's very shiny. His jacket's very shiny. It's got the, it's kind of got the waxed head look. I like this. It's very, it's very, sh it's very, uh, sh shimmery. Um, kind of has a. It's a rival vibe. I don't really know what he's looking at though. But he's he could be a character. He's just oh, he's he's just kind of drifting off into space. Everybody else is facing the music. He's got his back turned. So he could be a guy. We'll keep watching for him. But yeah, what I was gonna say is fuck now, I'm looking at him. That the guy the the guy from uh the other night, it was like an organic thing. I just kept noticing him from the corner of my eye and then it's just like, wow, I gotta talk about this thing. But I'm starting to look at this guy now quite a bit. So <laughs> uh I'm going to go back to the box score and I'm going to see if he's vegan grass. Male to female ratio is different tonight. Mm. Yeah, maybe a little bit more guy heavy tonight. I'm noticing guys in black shirts seem, uh, seem to be, I don't know if there was a memo, all these guys got together and they're like, these guys got the same haircut, same shirt, same haircut. Same, same watch maybe, definitely same. They they really plan that out. They even have the same shining. Like the light is hitting. Wow, that's they got to be related. This guy here though, he continues to fascinate me. I think this could be kind of looks like Kevin O'Leary. He looks like um a mix of like Kevin O'Leary and. <sighs> Can't, can't it's not it's not coming to me fuck it's kind of got like a batman villain uh, okay he's he didn't like that he's definitely yeah okay <laughs> okay so this must be he must be yeah he's sitting at the bar i guess okay oh he does not like this oh he likes her that's much better that's a much better scenario for him okay like uh, okay I'm i'm getting locked in now so he's like, damn it. Why are you talking to this guy with the hair? That's just like this guy when I, Oh, did she talk? Oh, wait. I think he made a comment like, a. he may have, <coughs> may have, Oh, now she's leaving. He may have made like an offhand sarcastic comment to her, but does he, is he feeling remorse? Oh, is he going to, is he going for a move? Okay. He's looking back. I think he's got a thing with like space. I don't think he likes being crowded. That's kind of why he's at the edge of things. He doesn't, he, he wants his own, he's got his little area, kind of like our guy from last time. He's got his area. He's very comfortable. He's more comfortable than our guy last time, but different energy tonight in the bar for sure. Um, again, more interesting than Javon Freeman Liberty and Jemias Ramsey. I'm sorry. 
And just by, by the way, if you get the opportunity to be interviewed, the thing that you think is interesting is not interesting to often is not interesting to the people watching as I'm breaking down a bar in, uh, so yes, I understand the, the irony here, but one sec, if you're, <laughs> this is how you do it folks. Yeah. If you're like on national TV, I don't know, but who, who really cares? Cause none of the Raptors starters were on. Oh, he's taking a selfie. This Okay. So he's 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 already like much he's already much more comfortable in this environment. Throwing the glasses on, gonna whip the phone out. That's always been a cool move. You you pull the glasses down, you pull the phone out. Uh trash clip says vegan uh vegan Austin. Steve Austin around the corner. I missed that one. Uh Matt Devlin, Matt Devlin. Yeah, what's going on in the Purdue game? Purdue's up 20. Zach Eady. Um, the Boilermakers. They're having fun. None of the games are really uh, competitive right now. So that kind of sucks. There was a, two crazy buzzer beaters right before the Raptors game started. Colorado, 102-100 against Florida. And then uh, Auburn, they lost against Yale. Fucking Mr. Burns' school. Fucking dorks. So I'm sure Charles Barkley is getting a, getting a ribbing from for that. He has a CNN show. Charles Barkley has a CNN show. Red guy with the Hanks. The Hanks shirt. Again, I would be I'd be outside somewhere. I got the police outside. What music do you think guys play? Uh, they got a tambourine here. I think it's kind of like a hippie ska thing. But uh, chat disconnected. Is the stream? <laughs> is the stream still working? Said the chat was disconnected for a sec. Uh, d- d- just yeah. This is this is how you do it, folks. Master of broadcasting right here. Oh, okay. We're getting a delivery at the beach now. All right. Where'd he go? Come back. This is pretty early. Here in uh, Seattle, Washington. The beach. Back to the bar. I think she she's new. Where'd she come from? She wasn't. Okay, he's still here. I think her outfit stands out a little bit. She's kind of wearing something that's kind of interesting. Oh, hand on shoulder. Okay. Red shirt has hand on shoulder. What's the dynamic here? She's bringing the friend in. They're nodding. Our guy, I don't know. Our guy's just, I don't know. I don't know if there's a main character here. I'm trying, I'm really trying to find a protagonist to latch on to, but. I think that two guys with the haircuts, that's pretty good. They're talking to each other right now. That's 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 a. Can you have two protagonists though? Okay, our guy's back now. Maybe this. I think the song changed. People are dancing a little bit more. Take a sip of that drink, buddy. You gonna move around a bit? No. Check the shoes. Look up at the band. Look around a little bit. Hell yeah! Bop up the drink a little bit. Take a sip. Take a sip of that thing. That's a that's an investment. That's a social blanket that you can use so you don't have to be as awkward. Doesn't I don't know. Doesn't I don't think there's a protagonist. I, I think if I'm a writer, I think if I'm writing a, a script, it's difficult for me to I don't know, maybe she could be the main character. I like the I like the cardigan. Is that a cardigan? I know when Will wore the Hong Shing hat, it kind of looked like that. The bucket hat. I don't know if he wore it, but it exists. He talked about it. <laughs> What's happening in the Purdue game? 
it's a commercial. Um, but, uh, yeah, did you guys have any, <laughs> did you guys have any thoughts on this game? How many more games are there left, by the way? How many more games in the season do the Raptors have? Um, Toronto's NBA Raptors, you know, how many, I got a Tyrese Halliburton and Gary video coming out soon. Raptors play the Wizards tomorrow, so they could make it 10 in a row against the Wiz. But the Trailblazers play the Nuggets? Are you fucking kidding me? So the Trailblazers have the Clippers and the Nuggets back-to-back. That's great. Um, so Raptors have got the Wizards. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Raptors, Wizards tomorrow. What's, what's happening? <laughs> What's happening with that? Uh, I assume, yeah, there'll be no starters again. And so it's basically no starters versus like Kyle Kuzma, Jordan Poole, Denny Avdia, Landry Shamit. Who else is on that team? Can't even remember. Nobody wants to be that team. Famous words of Kyle Kuzma. Raptors got the Nets. After that, and then the Knicks. So I guess in theory, two winnable games coming up, and then a, and then you've got a little New York rendezvous. But vegan grass, Wizards winning it by two. I guess that's one of those games where like nothing, absolutely nothing would surprise me. If the Raptors won by forty, I wouldn't be surprised. If the Wizards won by 40, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, there's not, there's nothing in that game that you could tell me that would surprise me. It'd be like, Grady Dick got 42 points. I'd be like, yeah. Um, Jordan Poole revives his career with a 63-burger against the against Jordan War. I'd be like, yep. I believe that. Nothing, Nothing's off the table. Okay, what's he look? Okay, our guy here. I think she dropped something, and he's gonna help her. Is he being genuine, or is he using this as a? Did he force it out of her hand originally? Maybe. Like, hey, he dropped. Okay, I don't know what his. I don't know what his deal is here. I don't know what his game plan is in, in any of this. Is he a big? Is he a big ska fan? Did he? Is he the barber? Did he cut these guys' hair and make it perfect? And he's just standing behind them, reveling in his artwork. Bearing the fruits of his labor. It's like, wow, it's a great fucking cut. I don't know what he's doing. The ma the, the magic isn't here isn't in here. Just, okay, the haircut guy's coming back. Haircut guy number two. Maybe he did cut their hair. He's kinda looking at it like God, that is the exact same haircut. Down like you could bust a ruler out like a tape measure. And one of those, because uh, yeah, we had people, we had people vaping. Uh, Yellow dress was vaping. He was getting rejected. He was ordering pizza. You know what? I it's it's my fault. I tried to go. I tried to go back. I tried to go back to the watering hole one too many times, which is twice. And it wasn't organic. What's happening at the beach? Okay, they're getting my they're getting my uh, chair ready. Yeah, move the get it out of the way. We don't want that. We don't need that here. My chair is the the next one. I don't I don't know if I've ever like gone to an actual beach club before, like where you go in. Like, I've never understood going to a place like this where I am actually a hundred percent at right now. I don't know. It's it's just like so. I'm gonna pay. Fuck you. Fuck all of the people that comp that company and everyone in their commercial. Fuck all of them. Sorry, but actually, I've I've never. Um, there we go. Yeah, I've just never. I'm just like I'm just gonna sit next to this, or if you go to like Cancun for example, which 
don't ever go to Cancun. It's let's do top ten worst places in the world I've been to. Cancun, Miami, Las Vegas, Laytonville, California, Clive, Utah, Surrey, British Columbia, Nanaimo. Yeah. I just uh I don't really understand what the what the point is. You go, you go to somewhere like Cancun for example, maybe you have a flight layover. Great, it's a great airport to operate out of for like flight layovers and stuff. It's kind of central. Nice big airport, lots of flights. It's a good airport, but the city sucks or the town sucks. Or the town's okay, like the actual town, but the resort strip sucks. Like anybody who goes to like Cancun or any NBA player especially NBA players, I just, it's like, you're never coming on this podcast. Like if you've ever been to Cancun, you're banned from this podcast, unless you're doing it because of a flight layover. But yeah, you can just walk through all the resorts. Probably helps if you're white and no one will bother you at all. You can just go wherever you want. Like you just walk through the pool. I know this because I've done this many times. You just walk through the pool some places you can really push it, but any any like pool or beach area, um, even when a wristband is required, there there's definitely a lot of ways to pull it off. When I was a teenager, I used to go to the movie theaters, and my scam was, um, I would get like a receipt, like a like a London drugs receipt or something like a white paper and I would wait until the line. This is when I was like 16, 17. I haven't done this in a long time, but I would wait till the line was kind of long and busy. And then I would like hold my, it's hard to reenact, but I would hold you guys like a cell phone. I would hold you guys on a cell phone. So I would hold my cell phone and I would just start like screaming into my cell phone. Just like about, I don't know, like the kitchen, like you left the oven on for the seventh time i can't fucking believe like like yelling and as i'm yelling in my phone i just like kind of hold up the ticket and walk past and it, it worked 100 percent of the time like you have to scream that's the key you can't just be like and you know i'm not advising anybody to do this but you know wow i, I have none of these work by the way i actually don't have a working phone but i do have i've dropped all of these phones are smashed because of basketball. Um, but I would be like, like you, you, like you can't, you can't just be like, "Hey, you left the oven on." Like it's been seven times. Like the fuck are you doing? And my, yeah. Like it, it's, it's got to be like you got to lamb, lamb, lambast, lambaste. You got to lambast them on. Walk in with with four phones you know just what the fuck i wish i wore these more like i originally i know the sunglasses are really hacky i actually hate them i i want to get actual but the original intention was to wear these which you can see on the original wrap the rooms will Lou podcast if you're so inclined but they fog the second i start talking they fog up so i gotta get actual sports goggles because the sunglasses thing is is a little Bob McCown, you know. Little caffeine supplements. What's happening at the bar? Okay, our guy has a, less less people. A couple people have left. I don't know where the hair boys are at. Our guy's still in the same spot. So he does have something in common with our last guy. He's he's picked a spot. Now he's got he's got some space. If he was uh, S. SGA, he would uh, he would attack the open space, go up. Oh, the band stopped playing. I bet people are outside smoking. That's where I would be, but I wouldn't be smoking unless it was weed. But it's Florida, so I think they have the death penalty for anything fun in Florida. You get the death penalty unless you're drinking and driving, which you just become governor. But anything else, you just electric chair. I think the haircut boys are still here. No, that's not one of them. I think the hair. I think the haircut guys are gone, and 
Who does this guy remind me of? Fuck, this is going to bug me. It's a little bit of Kevin O'Leary, but he's also from a movie. A... I can't leave this stream until I figure this out. He kind of looks like Lou Lamorello a little bit. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Is he leering a little bit? I think he might be leering. Is he leering? Is he a leerer? Kevin O'Leary? Kevin... <laughs> Okay, he really is Kevin O'Leary. Um, wow. He is... Okay. Um, this guy is like trying to enter their world right now. I don't know who they're talking to off camera. Off set, but... He is trying to enter into their consciousness. He's leaning like really far away from them. His His lean is insane. Like his angle is kind of wild he's kind of um we can kind of go next to him here try to match try to try to match his angle match his energy but yeah he's kind of like this he's kind of he's kind of leaning he's definitely he's definitely interested in these four oh complication complication uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this guy i mean he he's like who the fuck is this guy who's 75 years younger than me oh now he's he's fr he's getting frustrated now he was just i don't know if he was talking with them but he was just about to do he was just yeah he, he's just like rolling his eyes he's like these fucking these fucking ladies who are 80 years younger than me have no idea the the stories I have the banter I have the experiences that I have he's just he's dejected I think Adidas guy has come in that's his rival I think I think his rival is Adidas who what's Adidas doing now? oops wrong Adidas sipping a drink okay Adidas is kind of the Adidas has kind of taken over. The haircut boys have left. The the faded brothers. I guess it wasn't really a fade. The Taper. Jack Taper. Or Jake Tapper. Taper brothers. Um, I think I just saw smoke. That's the other thing. There was, somebody, there was people vaping the other night, which I kind of want to get back to that. Um, I think this guy's given up. I don't know if he's going to try again. I think he was just... He was just about to go into something like he was kind of like Shay on the perimeter and then Adidas who's still operating here. He came in like Oshai Abaji and I feel like he kind of shut things down and we got one, only one guy is really dancing here. This gray shirt again, a lot of gray, gray and white shirts, red shirt. Okay. We got, she's got the cardigan on. She was a previous character. Okay. She's, she's dan anybody ordering a pizza. Um, Oh, this guy, is this guy back? This guy might be, mm. He has the same drink as the guy from, all the drinks look the same. It's all like white. What is it? Probably vodka and Sprite or something. What's this guy drinking? Vodka and Sprite? He's kind of bopping around. He's definitely, I th okay, I think, I, I think, I think this could be a guy. Kind of, I get, I, I was skeptical at first. I wanted to, I didn't want to give him the, I didn't want to force it, but I, I like what I, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, you okay. Now we're talking. Now we are in, now we're in the fourth quarter here. Now we're in crunch time. Here we go. So that was a, Okay, she just looked back again. Like, is he still here? She is not. She is not feeling our friend, uh, Mister Shiny here, Kevin O'Leary. Um, where's Adidas? Is Adidas going to be the guy who's going to come in and be fun? Oh my god, I can't believe. How, I wonder what he said. What do you think he said to her? Like, hey. <laughs> Hey. 
hey, I cut those two guys' hair that was standing here before you was... Oh, they're back. The hair guys are back. Matching hair guys are back. Okay. Okay. I like them as secondary kind of uh, tertiary, tertiary characters, as they say. Um, but yeah, he's 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 performing well. I think... I. Th- I wonder if they're going to slowly... I think she already is. I think she's slowly starting to move away from him, but, like, not in an obvious way. Like, she's kind of moving, uh, like, an inch every couple seconds type of thing. One second. But, yeah, he, he he's got, like, a similar... Similar kind of... He's definitely calmer than Alaska. Oh, we got a guy vaping. Okay. That's... But yeah, I think she has moved away from him. I think she's moved a couple feet, right? Does anybody else... Does anybody else... Vegan grass. Don't hate on Nanaimo. Oh, God. We've got the... We've got the Nanaimo contingent in the chat. That's going to go... Fire up the fucking... The lucky beers and the boats... What a what a fun place. Um, I wonder if this guy would drink a lucky beer. Remember the eight packs? Eight packs of lucky beer. Walk down the hill, Cadboro Bay, pick them up. Find somebody in the dorm that's a year older. Or when you worked at the grocery store, you just go to the bakery. Yeah, this guy this guy tried to I think this is a big group here like i think this is oh she's oh no she's still there but i think this is like a you can kind of see how they're all standing in a circle this is like a little mob that they've got here and, and this guy wonder what he said to try to get in but man did it not work wow and is he reconsidering his options is he going to do a lap not a lot of laps going on do, do people not do laps in in Florida or wherever we are. Remember, used to doing laps when you're just awkward and weird. You just instead of standing in one place and I mean, there's no there's no band playing right now. That's tough. At least when there's a band playing, that's why I don't. That's why I like why do why would anybody go to a place like this? But when there, I guess other people have different whatever makes the world go around. I guess there's when there's no musicians to look at. It's kind of awkward, and you're not there with anybody really oh she turned around oh now he turned around so that she wouldn't make eye contact with him i think i think that's what it was and now he's looking off to where she was looking so he's still pretty locked in with her he's definitely still locked into like her pov he's interested in what she's experiencing and now i think the friend now a new rival is talking to the friend. The vaping guy. Vaping guy, is he going to do something? Where did, where did Adidas go? I think Adidas left. Or went somewhere else. Yeah, maybe not as captivating. What's Purdue, what's Purdue up to? Um... What's, uh... What is Zach Eady? Who's who's having a better night? This guy is oh Zach Eady is probably having a better night. Seventy eight fifty for Purdue. But a twelve seed is beating a five seed, eighteen five right now. James Madison versus Wisconsin. So I mean, it's been great, folks. Uh, great uh product for the Toronto Raptors. No starters. Um Trash clips is get some cream goggles. It's a good idea. If they need to go goggle shopping. Steve Ballmer. No, he looks more like Lou Lamorello. Yeah, definitely more like Lou Lamorello. But yeah, Raptors lose by 20. Um, highlights are the Kansas boys, which is funny because March Madness is happening right now, which I'm going to be watching in about a minute. But yeah, just to kind of end it. Oh, we're over an hour too. That's 
kind of wild. But yeah, Grady and Oshai, kind of the standouts tonight. Both played for Kansas, obviously, who won on a very controversial call against Stam Stemford. Stam. Oh, is he going? What's he doing? Was that a? Mo- Ooh, there must be a TV there. And she, he tried. He tried to get in on a conversation with her about what's happening on the TV, and she was just like, I don't think so, buddy. He What he needs right now, like his only shot at this, is somebody like coming in, like smoking meth and like vomiting everywhere and like screaming like racial epithets. Because then he would have something to talk about. Like, that would be a conversation piece. If some random person just came in and started doing that, he could then bridge off of that and be like, hey, it wasn't that crazy. Other than that, he's got nothing. He's got no shot. He needs a miracle. He needs a... Um, he needs, like, a combination of, like, Donald Sterling and Robert Sarver and somebody who throws up a lot to just come in really drunk because she is leaving him. The drink is only going to last so long. You can only sip that drink for so long until it's fucking over for you, buddy, and the drink goes away. Purple dress. Is purple dress... Is he going to... Is he going to... Jesus. What a ghoulish guy here. Not like an... Okay. Why is he moving his... But now, luckily for her, who I think she just looked back at him again. I think now she's got uh, like a... He's definitely not in the age bracket here either. Um, there's a lot less variance in age. I just realized this from last time. Everybody except him is like under 35. Maybe not that guy, but... So uh, maybe it's like a student night or something. March Madness night. Maybe March Madness was on the TV. What else would be on the TV? Probably was. And he was probably like, you know what? I know. I know Zach Eady. I'm a big Boilermaker fan. I'll order you a Boilermaker. Two Boilermakers for me and my whatever. Dumb and dumber. I already made that reference. Running out of steam. Trash clips. This guy's definitely a victim of divorce trying to be trying to feel young again. Yeah, there's some divorce guy energy there for sure. He's definitely the shiniest guy here as well. Like no one is no one is shimmering quite like him. He's got the light is is really finding him. Again, he's kind of like the guy last night. No one is enjoying their interactions with him. Like, <laughs> he's, he's just like saying a couple things to people and they're like walking away or being like, I don't care. So he, yeah, I think he's a good main character. Just because of how off-putting he is. And so now he's just kind of in the corner. Can I touch him? Wait. Wait. I don't know if I can how do I touch him? Let's see. There we go. Ooh, wait. Let's get a, let's, let's get around him here. Yeah, there we go. This is officially the lowest point of the channel. So what happens when nobody start no starters in the game? What else, what do they expect us to do? They take the Raptor show from two hours to one hour. They make Raptor moments stream after a game with no starters. They make him go to a bar with a bald guy who's divorced. Why are they doing this to us, man? Why don't they think about us? Why do we have to be 